dear viewers and greetings uh, in the previous video we discussed about the electron microscope uh, and its types and working principle and its uses uh, in this present video we are going to see about the differences between the scanning electron microscope and the transmission electron microscope uh, this is the images of uh, scanning electron microscope and the transmission electron microscope uh, next, regarding the working principle, a uh, majority of the parts are similar in both SEM and TEM, uh, but the TEM contains some extra uh, parts like uh, selected area aperture, intermediate lenses, uh, projective lenses, and fluorescent screen. And regarding the sample location, the sample is present in the end, and here in the TEM, the sample is present in the middle. And the parts like objective lens is present above the sample in the SEM, but in the TEM, the objective lens is present below the sample. And in the electronic sources uh, in the TEM produces the uh, electromagnetic uh, waves or the uh, electromagnetic beam. Uh, here, two types of electromagnetic beams are produced. The first the electron source produces the primary electron or electromagnetic beam and after striking with the sample the secondary electronic beam will be produced but here the single electronic beam will be produced from the electron sources and next regarding the here in the 10 fluorescent screen is present but here there is no uh, fluorescent screen uh, and the same contains the detectors and, and the amplifiers and here there is no detector and the amplifiers and the final uh, image will be observed in the uh, PC screen of in the SIM microscope. In the transmission electron microscope, the final image will be observed in the fluorescent screen. These are all the major and the basic differences between the scanning electron microscope and the transmission electron microscope. And next, and next, this image shows the difference between the sc scanning and the transmission electron microscope. And here, uh, this image shows the uh, image obtained from the scanning electron microscope. And here, uh, in the scanning electron microscope, uh, the electron beam scans over the surface. Uh, here, the surface morphology of the, uh, of the microorganism alone identified here. But in the TEM, uh, the electron beam passes through the sample. And here on the, the electron beam passes on the surface only, but in the term, the electro or electronic beam will pass into the sample. So the SEM is used to observe the surface morphology of the cell, but the TEM or the transmission electron microscope is used to, to observe the internal structure of the cell. Next, the major differences. The resolution of the scanning electron microscope is low and the resolution of the transmission electron microscope is high. The resolving power of the SEM is 10 nanometer and the resolving power of the TEM is 0.1 nanometer. Uh, in the scanning electron microscope, the electron beam scans over the surface of the sample uh, but in transmission electron microscope, the electron beam passes through the sample and shows the internal structure which are present within the samples. By using the SIM, we will observe the surface of the sample. Uh, but by using the transmission electron microscope, we will observe the intercellular structures which are present within the SIM. The maximum magnification of the scanning electron microscope is 1 to 2 million times, but the maximum magnification of the transmission electron microscope is 50 million times. The voltage requirement will be very high for the scanning electron microscope uh, because it needs up to uh, 50 to 30,000 volts of electricity, but the voltage requirements of the transmission electron microscope is low. And next, the specimen preparation is easy for the same, uh, but for transmission electron microscope, uh, the specimen preparation needs the skilled person and it, it, it requires the very thin specimen 
that is uh, the, sp the specimen thickness uh, should be uh, 100 nanometer or below. In the scanning electron microscope, aluminum strips are used for the specimen mounting. And in transmission electron microscope, thin films on copper grid are used for the specimen mounting. Uh, in SIM, uh, specimen fixation is completed by aldehydes and osmium tetroxide. In TEM, the specimen fixation is completed by two methods. The first method is the chemical fixation of the specimen. And the second method is the cytofixation of the specimen. Next, in scanning electron microscope, the specimen is coated with a conductive material to prevent the charge buildup on the specimen surface. And in transmission electron microscope, no coating is required for the specimen. In SIM, specimen contrast is formed by the electron absorption. But in TEM, the specimen contrast is formed by the scattering of the electrons. In SIM, uh, the electron beam scans over the surface of the sample and create an image of the specimen. In TEM, electron beams pass through the sample and creates an image of the specimen. Uh, the simply, the scanning, ele scanning electron microscope scans the electron beam scans uh, by using the electron beam and in the TEM, the electron beam pass through the sample. And next for image formation in the scanning electron microscope, the electrons are captured and counted by the detectors and the image will appear on the PC screen. Uh, in the transmission electron microscope, the formed image will appear on the fluorescent screen or the PC screen. The fluorescent screen is present in the TEM but is absent in the same. The same produces 3D black and white images, but the TEM produces the 2D black and white images. The same shows only the surface morphology of the specimen, macromolecular aggregations and tissues, but the TEM shows the multiple characteristic of the uh, cell, such as the ultrastructure of the cell, crystallization, viruses, and the tissues. And regarding the uh, cost, uh, the SIM is less expensive than the transmission electron microscope, but the transmission electron microscope is more expensive when compared to the scanning electron microscope. Regarding the time requirements, the scanning electron microscope requires uh, less time when compared to the transmission electron microscope, but the transmission electron microscope is a long process and it requires uh, more time when compared to the scanning electron microscope. Regarding the safety issues, the scanning electron microscope is, rel is relatively safe to human use, uh, but transmission electron microscope is uh, relatively detrimental to the human health. Uh, that's all about the uh, differences between the scanning electron microscope and the transmission electron microscope. Thank you for your support. Thank you.